What is going on, guys? It's Wolf. Uh, you guys, I record this game several times each time I've had a night to do it. So yeah, I failed. Uh, but guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to. Um, <clears throat> today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Big Reactor's game, Computer Crash. Now, I just jumped into this world, and I'm going to be building the Big Reactor for this game, and kind of a Big Reactor tutorial as well, more or less of one. I'm not going to show you every single bit of it. I'm not going to show you how to make recipes or anything. Uh, I'm going to be in another video if y'all want me to do it. Uh, if y'all want a Big Reactor tutorial, leave it in the comments below and tell me. Um, and if you like this video, please do hit the like button. You guys, it really helps. If you like my videos, please do hit the subscribe button. It really does help. So, guys. I'm going to build this big reactor real quick. Well, let's go go ahead and build this. Uh, so, guys, I'm making a basic five by or this isn't this is a probably I'd say tier two. Uh, the way I'm building it, it's basically a tier two. So, um, a basic. Ooh, that's like a 3x3 three three on the outside. This thing's 5x5 five five on the outside. Um, so yeah, we're doing this. A, uh, uh, the tier 2 way, which is 3x5x5 three five five on the outside, 3x3 three three on the inside. Uh, and using graphite blocks as... I could use a liquid, like water or something, if I feel like it. Oh wait, that's not there. That's not there. Hang on. There, 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 there. And then, alright guys, this seems simple to build, but it, once you get into larger reactors, it gets extremely annoying to build. So, let's do power tap. Power source, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and put it on. Now guys, this reactor glass that I'm putting on is not required at all. Um, it does nothing for the reactor, it just allows us to see what's on the inside. Um, so guys, you don't have to have it just to make it. Oops, don't fall down that. Um, yeah, that's all the stuff you're gonna need to build your big reactor. Again, these two can be substituted for either reactor casings. Or this can be substituted for reactor casings. This can be substituted for water or something. Don't think you need it by any means. Uh, however, everything here you will need, except for the aluminum blocks. You can use the aluminum blocks as well. Uh, me, however, I'm just gonna use aluminum blocks. So. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start getting this bad boy set up. The reason I grabbed this transfer bed is to input all the aluminum blocks. Okay. Okay. So, you technically don't even need a chest for a transfer but whatever. Uh, here, real quick, I'm going to show you all the mods you're going to need for this. Hope you guys catch up. Oh, wait. Wait a second. There we go. These are all the mods you're going to need. Uh, well, some of these you're going to need. To actually do the computer craft stuff, you only need big reactors for computer craft. That's all you're going to need for this. Uh, I just threw some of these in there, because why not? Like, Jabba, I threw that in there. Because I'm not going to use any of this. But, yeah. Let's get that off. Let's do that. So, now what you're going to do, now that you have your big reactor set up and it's all ready, what you're going to do to start your computer craft is you're going to place down an advanced computer. It has to be an advanced computer. It cannot be a basic computer. It will not work. And then you have to have a at least a 3x3 three three advanced monitor set up, which is 9 advanced monitors. Now, they aren't too expensive, actually. Advanced computer is just this, and then advanced monitor is that, and you get four per 
Minecraft is just rough. It's so dangerous. No, dude, it's it's fun. Um, so what you're gonna do what, when you have this set up complete, you're going to place one wired modem, cannot be wireless, um, on the the actual computer board. So you do that and that. <clears throat> uh, then once you have them there, you're going to right. You're going to shift right click with a networking cable on both the two of the the two wired modems and two networking cables. Uh, it will connect them, and then what you need to do to make sure it's completely connected to the network, right click on both, and then you'll see this chat. Um, and then, you guys, you can also, this doesn't have to, there, it has to be at least three modems. You can wake it up, you can extend it out, you can do whatever you want to, but uh, it cannot be less than three modems. It will not work. So, what you're going to do now is you're going to type paste, you're going to go into your advanced computer and type paste then get equals dpq7 capital n minus one. And then type install. You press enter. Then it's going to install that specific file. And then you're going to type paste then run equals dpq7 capital n a. Which looks like this up here. But instead of git, it's run, and now install. Press enter. And then it's going to ask you, do you want uh, for reactor control or turbine control? For this specific thing, we are using reactor control. So, you're going to press 1 and 2. You're going to, uh, it's going to do this, and then it's going to say, reboot. Press enter. Wait for when ready. See? It's like 2 by 3 advanced water resistance. Computer. Wired modem. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Connect modems with network cable and right click. Exactly. And then enter. Now I'm kind of doing this out of order. I do all that beforehand. You can do that during that stage and then come back in. Um, but that's, yeah. Um, so now your computer comes all hooked up to your reactor. You can turn the reactor on. You can turn it on auto. Sort of um, set an amount. Uh, on when storage equals 1% and off when storage equals 99%. Uh, so uh, now whenever the reactor, you see where it says RF stored right here? Whenever that reaches 99%, the reactor will automatically turn on. And uh, when it's at that stage, if, there, if any power is being drawn from the reactor, it will start, uh, that power level in there will start to go down. And once it reaches 1%, the reactor will automatically turn back on. Um, it's, it saves fuel. So you can also press on it. You can go to tools and control raw. Now, the more you put in, the less power output you're going to have. So again, it's a conservation thing. However, I always have mine at zero uh, percent, so that these are completely neutral. So that there's no max amounts. Um, so there it is. Uh, again, I am using graphite blocks for this, so the temperature could be better. Um, uh, guys, like I said, if you want me to do a big reactor tutorial on how to make big reactors and all that good stuff. Uh, let me know in the comments below, and I will. Um, guys, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. And guys, if you like what I do, hit the subscribe button. It really helps. You have no idea. Guys, thank you all. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.